And welcome on in. It's time for sports. We're going to start things off with some non-region boys basketball. Only three losses between the two teams coming in. Erie and Fairview meeting up for an intriguing non-region matchup to, he to headline the Saturday afternoon slate. Tom Koval's Erie High Royals visiting Fairview this afternoon. James Sitter and company. And first quarter action off of a turnover coming up for Fairview. It's the Royals turning defense into offense as Marcel Banks goes coast to coast for the finish. Erie with the transition bucket there. They had a nice 6-0 lead early. Jeremy Frizeo with the ball and the fake. Then takes it all the way down the baseline for two there. More from Fairview. Tyler Schultz underneath kicks it out. And after he swarmed, it's James Sitter with the friendly roll on the long two. Gets it to fall there. Erie leading 8-6. Then it's Zach Scott on the drive and feed to Zach Franos. Easy one down underneath as he lays it in. On the other end, off the miss from the baseline jumper here. Javaneda Vera with the miss, but big Markel Darnell with the finish as he cleans it up for the stick back. Royals with a two-point lead. Terrell Petty finds Banks, who goes baseline and hanging, hitting. Nice shot there. Erie wins a low-scoring close ball game over Fairview, 33-24 on the road. Out in West County, Will Gadsden's Northwestern Wildcats hosting Sagertown in non-region action today. Late first quarter, Wildcats up by six. Camp Perkins feeding Malachi Schaefer, who drills the top of the key three. He had 19 on the day. Sagertown responding. Henry Schaefer with the follow-away shot. No relation. Different spelling. He had seven. Brady Greco drives in and stops. Pops. Knocks down the elbow jumper. 15 points for the Panther there. Ryan Toole gets open on the curl cut on the other end. Down low. Lays it in off the glass. Hitting the deck but stays with it. And then Schaefer picks up the hockey assist here. Perkins the dish to Toole for two more in transition. Lays it in off the window. He had 20 to lead the Wildcats. Northwestern bounces back with a 57-43 win over Sangertown. Girls hoops as we shift gears over to Gerard Cochranton visiting the Lady Yellow Jackets. In the first, Kayla Sharman up ahead of the pack to Paige Moore, who stops, collects herself, drains the wing three, knocked it down there. Moore from the home team off the baseline, out of bounds play. Sharman to a wide open Courtney McDonald, one bounce and up and in. She had 11 points. Cochranton gets on the board off the baseline driving pass here. Chelsea Frymuth with the long two for the Cardinals. Amber Carr then feeding Lauren Coma down low and she hits the turnaround jumper off one dribble. Gets it to go there with the roll. And then McDonald finding Sharman who connects on the perimeter knockdown. Kayla Sharman with a career high. 35 points her second game of 30 points or more this year. Gerard takes down Cochranton 68 to 57. More girls hoops unbeaten Mercier's prep hosting Northeast in late afternoon action. Six point lead for the Lakers in the first. Olivia Kulik with the drive. The initial miss but stays with it. Pads the stats here. A bit offensive and rebound and stick back. She had 13 points as she gets the put back to go there. Alyssa Bailey waiting for a Cutter to come through the lane. It's Anna Tranum with the turnaround follow a shot off the block. 12-4 lead. She also had 13. Northeast with the answer. Gracie Victory with the long two on the baseline. Hits that jumper. Then Kulik with the pump fake drive and kick. It's Kaitlin Spano on the triple try. Got it. Mercier's prep gets the win. They stay unbeaten, beating Northeast 51 to 29. More girls basketball down in Crawford County earlier this afternoon. Meadville hosting one loss. Warren early in the first. Meadville working the ball inside. Phoebe Templin finding Jasmine Smith for the mid-range jumper from the elbow. Knocks that one down. And then next trip down. Reese Burnett finding Smith on the curl cut for an easy one. 4-0 lead for the Bulldogs early. Warren's Emma Ruhlman drive the ball here from the wing all the way through the lane for two. She had 22 points to lead the Dragons and then Rollman on the assist next time down for the and one Riley Childress hits the bucket and gets fouled. She had 16 on the day. Warren picks up the win 57 13 over Meadville moving to nine and one on the year.